A recent study shows that when your partner criticizes you and you act either defensively or by walking away from the conversation, you are actively worsening both your physical and mental health. Published on November 24th, 2022, Janice Keycalt Glazer and colleagues revisited an old study of Janice's and apparently she's pretty important. I mean, she's got her own Wikipedia page and if I ever get my own Wikipedia page in life, that's how I'll know I've made it. How can you get higher than that? You know? The research that was revisited was actually originally done by Keycalt Glazer in 2005, in which they analyzed conversations between married couples to determine a few things, but to predominantly determine whether or not people's wounds heal faster or slower based on their relationship with their significant other. In this research, 42 couples, or 84 participants, with a mean age of 37.04 had their blood drawn to measure IL-6 levels, and they were also given a suction wound. After this, the married couples went through a couple of sessions in which they would be in a room together and then be given prompts to initiate discussion. Each partner took turns in a 10-minute discussion talking about what they'd like to change about themselves. They were asked to explain the story of their relationship within a 30-minute time frame. And there was one more discussion that was about 10 to 20 minutes and the researchers got pretty devious with this one. They had each participant come up with a list of problems in their relationship and then rate those problems on how severe they are. And then after being given the results, the researchers sneakily prompted the individuals to talk to each other to try to resolve one to two of these issues that both people seem to have rated the highest. And personally, what I find the most hilarious is the researchers then left the couple in the room by themselves. Essentially pulled up to this room, caused these couple to just start beefing out of nowhere, and then just dip. It's just so maniacal. Just so, it's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and the discussions between the married couples were recorded and then later coded and analyzed for data. The researchers also tracked the healing process of the suction wounds they gave each participant for up to 12 days after the discussions. One of the key behavioral patterns that the researchers noticed in these discussions are known as demand withdrawal patterns. A demand withdrawal pattern occurs between two people when one person, person A, criticizes the other person, person B, and person B responds by becoming defensive or withdrawing from the conversation. The results show that couples with higher demand withdrawal patterns had higher IL-6, slower wound healing, more negative emotion, and less positive emotion. Long story short, if you're in a relationship with someone, could just be a friendship, but especially if you're in a romantic relationship, and double especially if that romantic relationship is long term, try to identify if you behave in any sort of demand withdrawal patterns. If your significant other criticizes you, especially if they do it in a nice or critiquing kind of way, at the end of the day, if you do have a loving relationship, while criticism may be hard to hear, in a loving relationship, it just comes from the other person wanting to see you do better. And if you're not open to it, the research shows you're gonna have more of a miserable time with your physical health and mental health. But regardless, I think the study's pretty interesting. And as I said, I think it's important to take criticism well. So if at any point you have any critiques to help us make this channel just even a little bit better, make sure to leave them down in the comments below along with your thoughts on the study. As always, the APA citation as well as the link to the original research is in the description and I'll see you tomorrow.